guys welcome to my channel this is gaming with grandma all right guys um this is kind of like not a vr video i kind of wanted just to explain a little bit to you guys so when i took my computer course um i was learning how the parts different parts and how they operate and uh the motherboard the ram and the tower and all the components that go into a computer now, my next class is going to be about the functions of the computer. Like, um, oh gosh, um, if something goes wrong, the maintenance of it, um, you know, what to expect if you get into a problem with the, uh, with the PC. But what I learned is, number one, I thought you were supposed to get the tower first. I was wrong. You're supposed to get the motherboard first. Then once you get the motherboard, um, it will have instructions on the piece of paper that you get with the motherboard. It'll tell you what you need for a um, processor. It'll say what graphics card you can get. It will say what kind of tower that you need to get. Uh, it'll have all that information. Now, I, lear I also learned if you put RAM in um, and there's an error, uh, you can detect which RAM actually is bad. Um, because I got a lot of RAM and I've thrown them in a box and, you know, I've done whatever. But when I got my graphics card, there was like a blue bag and I did not know I should not throw that away. So if you guys get a computer part, okay, and you see that blue bag, that's a static bag I did not know this I thought it was just a regular bag and I threw it away that was my that was my mistake um and then I just put my um my graphics card in my closet so um I have money in my school account um but I don't really want to buy anything at the school my book that I have it's already for my next class so I don't have to buy another book which my book from last class was 200 and I think it was 289 or 269 something like that and then I had to get a printer um, because going to school and doing a printing it cost well the first time it was 86 cents and then the second time it was like eight pages and it was like a dollar 25 so I had to ask them what, what what do I do that's better? And then I found out color is even more expensive. And I didn't know this. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you're going to school to print your stuff, you're basically going to be paying way more than you will for a regular printer. Um, yes, some printing ink is very expensive. Um, I have the little, you know, I don't know what you call it, square box or whatever. But I went to Office Depot. I think that's what you call it. Um, I went there and I got ink, which was a tw 20, no, it was a 40, 40, 44, or 24. I think it was a 24. Anyways, I went to Office Depot and it was like $16. And I'm like, yes. But the only bad thing is when I installed it, it only had this one, much ink. And I found out that it does take 45 because I'd gotten 45 from my school for the black ink and thought it didn't fit in there. So when I went to Office Depot to get the 24, I looked at the box and it said also accepts the 25. And I'm like, oh my goodness, are you serious? You know, so um, I haven't put no ink in it since school. Um, I kind of got it over in the corner. Sorry. I, I got it over there in the corner. I don't know why I hit my mic. Um, I do a lot of waving my hands a lot of times when I talk. So that's why you kind of see this in the uh, video. Because I'm like moving my hands around and stuff like that. Um, I think I got that from my mom. Because my mom, every time she talked, she'd move her hands around. Um, but anyways, um, my sunburn's still here. Um, I ordered my aloe vera. It's a gel, 
Um, and I found out you put it in the refrigerator. Now, I heard ice packs are not good for your, um, for your sunburn. But I don't do it, like, straight on skin. Um, those ice packs that you get at the hospital, you know, when you got a bruise or a bump or something like that, and they give you ice, they're like little... I don't know what you call them. They're like little, uh, I don't know. They're just little ice packs. Um, don't use the big brick ice packs because if you use those, that's way too cold. Um, it'll make your feet hurt really bad. Um, so I wrap it in a towel and um, then I put it on my feet for a little while. I do not keep them on my feet the whole time. I do it until I don't feel the burning, and then I take them off and I put them back in the freezer. Um, another thing, so this is the thing when I build my PC, it's going to be my PC. Um, so I have to get the motherboard, and then I got to read the instructions, and then probably get the processor, and get the RAM, and then get the tower. Or I can do vice versa, I can get the motherboard, then be able to know. Uh, what tower I need, what processor I need, what RAM I need, what RAM it accepts. Um, and it will say this on the notes. See, I didn't know this. I thought you were supposed to get the tower, motherboard, processor, RAM, and all that. And I found out that's not true. You're supposed to get the um, motherboard first because you have to read the description of the motherboard um, on what you can use with it um they also have specs and all sorts of stuff um so another thing if i buy them on ebay um some of them are already used um and i don't want to do that i want them brand new um the only reason why i say brand new is because um the only place i think that would probably be good to get computer parts is new egg um, my son would always get computer parts from uh, Newegg. Um, and Newegg, I'm not, they're not sponsoring me or anything like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I plan on doing a video of me putting it together. Um, but I want to make sure I get all the parts before I start putting it together. And we'll see how it goes for, you know, everything. Um, but I'll be using my regular, my regular camera that I have. I'll have to have a stand and stuff to be able to have you guys see what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, um, once I get my gaming PC, um, my son doesn't use his PC very often. So I don't know if I should get him a gaming PC, if I should build one for him, because he's never on his computer. Um, but once I have mine, I'm going to do, like, massive gaming. Um, now, once I'm done with these two courses that I'm taking, um, I have to go in and do Microsoft Office because I need to know JavaScript. I need to go and find out how to do um, the, um, what do you call it? the spreadsheet, the analysis, all that stuff. Because I'm going to have to know that when I'm selling stuff um, because I'm going to have to add stuff up, put the customer's name, all that stuff. I'm going to have to know how to do all that um, before I can sell anything. And uh, there's many sites in that that I can go to sell my products. There's another class that you can take um, to help you uh, with like uh, marketing. Um, I also have to do that marketing, um, knowing how to sell your product. Uh, I got to learn all that. So after these two courses, I'm going to take the basic computer uh, knowledge, you know, where JavaScript and all that stuff. And then after I'm done with that one, I'm going to enroll in... Um, Oh, what is it? I'm trying to think now. Uh, and I just said it, too. Um, yeah, once I'm done with that one, I think... Because I can't go into gaming or virtual reality because it has to do with a lot of math. Um, 
So, but once I'm done with these classes, I'm going to take the regular Microsoft Office course. And then I'm going to have to take marketing, I remembered, marketing and how to sell your product and how, how you know, how to analyze everything, all that. I'm going to have to learn all that because um, I literally don't know how to do. I mean, I used to do marketing, but I was on the, the company's computer and I would talk to people and help them fix their problem and things like that. Now, after I'm done with all these courses, I also could get a job in technician where um, I can do it at home and people would call me and I would try to fix their problem. Um, they do have jobs where you can do at home, um, where you answer phones and it's at, at your own pace. Um, but I don't know if I would do that. It depends on how much I could make uh, and if I'm done with school because I'm not going to do anything if I'm not done with school yet. Um, I want my full concentration on school. But what I want to do next is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play some VR games. Now there's one that's free and I want to try it out. And then we're going to jump into green hell and see how it's changed. If, if anything has changed, cause I don't know. Um, but we're not going to do it in this video. I'm going to post another video and we're going to do it that way. Um, but this is the basic stuff on how I want to get myself going. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. This is grandma signing out. Adios amigos. Doses. I'm out.